You know, in hindsight, when thinking about it, this is actually going to be a clown fiesta. What's up, guys? It's your boy, HMK. Nintendo Square Enix Kingdom Hearts Zelda Mario Smash Extraordinaire. God, I'm ready! Holy snap. So, the big thing about this video, I guess, is... I'm pretty much twisted right now because I thought I was gonna, you know, vibe and chill. You know, I'm always hyped, but chill as in, you know, I got, I got, I got a plan and I'm gonna do a lot of work and... Now Nintendo just like starts banging on my door with this Super Smash Brothers shit. Oh god. If you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, I'm kind of beat around the bush out of here. So this is going to be my fourth year going to E3. And the reason why I'm twisted is that this year at E3, it's pretty much kind of a given that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be at this year's E3. And maybe, just maybe, it could be playable or whatever. We I go there and uh, I cover whatever it is going to be there at that capacity. And whatever. So, you know, I thought it was going to be a very chill ride. And then Smash happened. So, more than likely, Smash is probably going to be at E3. And more than likely, like 80%, more so than I believe Kingdom Hearts 3 to be playable, Smash is probably going to be playable at E3. And have you ever been to E3 in a working capacity? It's fucking terrifying. Like, see, these are my E3 badges. This is gonna be my my fourth year going to E3, so I'm kind of like, like I'm 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 seasoned or whatever. So the, the reason why I'm twisted is that I went, I was ready, I had my mindset ready for this year's E3 to go and mostly cover uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 or anything Kingdom Hearts related at E3 because every time I go to E3, it's always a scramble fest. Back in 2015, it was pretty much chill, uh, except for the fact that Kingdom Hearts had a trailer there, and I was able to get some uh, news done there because I was invited to the Square Enix event, which is really cool, haha. <laughs> oh, GG. And uh, Nintendo only had Star Fox Zero, which was cool, and then I was able to play that a little bit. But it was, it was, it was, it, it was the chillest E3 I've ever had. And then we come to 2016. 2016 was a big deal since I covered Zelda and Kingdom Hearts because uh, we had Breath of the Wild, nothing but Breath of the Wild there, and I wanted to play as much as I can. I played it three times. I got all the swag. It was cool. But also Kingdom Hearts 2.8 was playable there as well. And um, luckily, uh, Square Enix had a media line, so I was able to go and play that, and that was chill. It, it, it was good. 2017, we had Super Mario Odyssey. And that was Nintendo's thing. And then the only playable thing from Square that I kind of was interested in was the City of Final Fantasy NT, right? And but you know, you would think that's chill. But if you guys don't remember, E3 was public for the first time that year. And holy shit, when I was there, it was ugh, thank God for appointments. I felt so bad for people who had their first year experience at E3, at that E3, because it was a train wreck. Yo, my boy Conrad, Commonwealth Realm, he came all the way from buttfuck. <sighs> my god. It, mm, thank god for appointments. I was able to get the stuff done there, and then Square Enix was like the only one there that kind of like had a media line and forced it, so that was good. So this year at E3, once again, it's going to be open to the public. However, uh, they did confirm that media people, hey, approved for media, are gonna have first crack at the expo. And now I'm I'm really twisted because I was ready to go uh, when uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when uh, media gets first crack, and then Thursday is gonna be a free fall. It's gonna be a clown fiesta. Ha! Um, I was gonna just go in and go Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. That was my master plan. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get videos done. In a very smooth way, nothing's gonna stop me now. And then, I, dude, Breath of the Wild Link. That's Breath of the Wild Link. That's Breath of the Wild Link. I was wait, wrong. Breath of the Wild Link and oh, Smash! Super Smash Brothers 
is more likely going to be playable there. And then my boys, the Key Keepers, we're trying to get Jared to go, but we're, like all of us are trying to get down and dirty with Kingdom Hearts and E3 this year. All four of us Key Keepers, let's go Kingdom Hearts. And we were going to go do that. Now the fact that Smash is probably going to be playable, all of us are going to go there. And I'm going to go there and beat the Mumpet Smash. I'm going to beat them so hard just like I beat my... And the thing that makes it more twisted, that got me a lot more twisted... <laughs> oh shit, is the fact that Nintendo and Square are always in the separate wings. If you guys haven't been to the LA Convention Center, Jesus Christ, it's gigantic. Like, there's two big separate wings, two big separate expo halls, and Nintendo's always in the east wing, and Square is always in the west wing. They, it's like north wing and east wing, but when you look at the convention center, it's just like, uh, uh, like left and right, east and west, so that's why I call it. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's just, it's just west wing. No, if you went to E3, and I know that's a bunch of people who went to E3 that I met up there in the public or whatever, those wings are very far, like... <laughs> <laughs> the hallway connecting these two wings, I would it, it's enough to encompass like two or three streets. So it's about like two or three blocks of worth of walking. It's 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 a long hallway. And there's no and that's the only thing that connects the two wings. So now if I want to play Smash, I got to be there, and now I want to play Kingdom Hearts, I got to run all the way to the other wing, and then back and forth, back and forth, and to make matters worse, the, the media room is where the east wing w is, where Nintendo would be. So, like, I can do Nintendo and just come out to the media room, but if I'm going to go do Kingdom Hearts, I got to go there, and then walk all the way. Yikes, man, I should really get some wheelies. And you know, like, I, I, I understand that this, when you look at this, this is like a very first world problem. But I mean, I, this year at E3, I was, I was ready for it to be smooth. It was just like, it, it, the stars all aligned. I got a, all of us got approved super early. Media's getting first crack. Kingdom Hearts Orchestra, and then Kingdom Hearts probably gonna be 83. I was just ready to just, this is the year of Kingdom Hearts 3. Nintendo, like, yeah, sure, they're probably gonna have Metroid and Fire Emblem and Yoshi. I can take those things out at my own leisure. And then, and then, and then, Smash is probably gonna be there. And they're probably gonna, since Nintendo Versus is going down with Smash, they're probably gonna have like a, a Nintendo Smash Open or some sort of, like some sort of live tournament just like they did last year with ARMS and Splatoon. And I want to be a part of that, but I also want to cover Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. So, oh lord, it's, this is gonna be a fun time. And that combined with the fact that it's gonna be open to the public again, and there's gonna be a lot of people there. Now we're in the step in the right direction for E3, um, for media to get first crack on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I really hope that Square Enix, if Kingdom Hearts 3 is gonna be there, and if Kingdom Hearts 3 is gonna be playable, I hope Square Enix once again enforces a media line, because they've enforced media lines for the past three years. And this is gonna be my fourth year going to E3, so I hope Square Enix will either enforce a meeting line or I'll be able to get um, some sort of appointment. I'm gonna try and make appointments for a lot of people and stuff so I can get this done as smooth and as quick and as good as possible because I will, I promise you, 2017 was, n <laughs> 2017 was not kind to those who, who went there to work. And E3 is a place to work. But that, that, that's just me. I'm twisted. It's, it's, oh boy, I'm, I'm, but I'm ready to brave the storm for Kingdom Hearts 3 and Super Smash Brothers, but boy, Nintendo Square, why are you doing this to me? You know, in hindsight, it's my fault because I had to choose to cover both Square Enix and Nintendo, and now I'm in this predicament, but hey, it's cool. I got this. And that's what got me twisted this year at E3, but we in this, let's go. So guys, let me know what you want me to cover Besides Smash and Kingdom Hearts possibly E3, I will do my best, but that, those are my priorities. Kingdom Hearts 3 was my original first priority, first and only priority, but now, Smash and Kingdom Hearts in separate wings, open to the public, bring it on. <laughs> so you haven't subscribed to HMK yet, don't piss Xemnas off.